Kentucky's abortion ban went into effect immediately after Friday's Supreme Court decision overturned Roe v. Wade. Some other states with trigger laws will see them take effect in 30 days. Newsy's Maura Sirianni looks at how lawmakers, specifically in red states, have been preparing for the possibility of Roe being overturned for years. Abortion is a human right! Abortion is not a woman's only issue. Abortion affects every single one of us. Arkansas, Idaho, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, and Wyoming. 13 states across the U.S. with trigger laws. Just knowing what's going to happen, the deaths and the, the poverty rates, how how my fellow legislators and uh, the governor and other people don't see that just blows my mind. In Kentucky, the so-called trigger law was passed in 2019 and allows abortion only to save the life of the mother or prevent disabling injury. Adia Wuchner is executive director of Kentucky Right to Life, a group that has long advocated for the end to abortion. We still have many issues to deal with. Mail order abortions, very risky business um, that young women, whether they're in their dorm, in their home, uh, can and go online and be solicited for mail order abortions. But today we're going to celebrate. Louisiana was one of only three states whose trigger laws took effect immediately, updated June 21st by Democratic Governor John Bell Edwards. At least 20 states are poised to ban the practice of abortion. Other states like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Arizona have pre-row abortion bans still on the books that could potentially go into effect without action from local lawmakers. Abortion is safe and legal in Illinois. Meanwhile, many blue states are pushing the opposite direction, codifying Roe in state law and working to serve as safe havens for women seeking abortion care. We will not aid, we will not abet in their efforts to be punitive, to fine and create fear for those that seek that support. California Governor Gavin Newsom immediately signing legislation Friday aimed at protecting women, doctors and others who assist with abortions from civil lawsuits by states where abortions are banned. We won't! Go back. We won't! Go back. As it stands in Texas, the trigger law will go into effect in 30 days. Uh, this is not a time to gloat. This is a big deal. This is serious. This is a time for us to show love, to reach out to Americans who see this issue differently than we, than we do. Doctors there could face life in prison and fines up to $100,000 if an abortion is performed. Kentucky's trigger law has created some confusion over what is actually banned here. Abortions, whether done by a procedure or medication, are banned unless, like she said, the mother's life is threatened. The medication part is what's confusing people. Attorney General Daniel Cameron addressed this issue yesterday. He said there's a difference between emergency contraceptives like Plan B that prevent pregnancy and an abortion pill that terminates a pregnancy. What I'll say is it relates to Plan B and contraception. That is or contraceptive, uh, that is, this law does not affect uh, those uh, things in particular. To make sure that first, as many women as possible know that they can still have access to it under this law. I think a lot of people didn't at all know how this law was going into effect. They didn't know um, what the kind of parameters of the law were. Emergency contraceptives will still be available over the counter at stores and pharmacies all across the state. Many of the people who attended yesterday's Pride Festival in Lexington told us they were devastated by Friday's ruling. The festival was actually held in person for the first time since before the pandemic. LEX 18's Ricky Sayer found out why people are concerned future Supreme Court actions could take direct aim at some of the very rights they're celebrating. 24 hours after this plaza filled with pain and anger, love took center stage. Being able to come down here and actually experience pride was pretty nice. I think it's very important that all of us are here together as one community to support each other. Mason Monahan says support is needed by so many in this community after the Supreme Court ruling protecting abortion rights was overturned Friday. I cried. <laughs> I cried for a very long time. The news just further I don't even know how to describe it. It was just awful. That's the reality for Onyx Perkins, who is worried about the country's and direction. And I am just scared it's going to get worse and worse. If one Supreme Court justice has their way, things will get worse in Perkins' view. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in a concurring opinion that the court should reconsider protections for same-sex marriage 
and relationships. It's just, it's devastating, it's infuriating. We already have so little rights to begin with and to further try and strip those away from us is so insulting, it's unbelievable. Thomas's opinion is not law, but it could lead to state laws and legal challenges that bring the issue to the court. I think as one person, you're kind of helpless. You hear a lot of like that kind of group say, land of the free, home of the brave, but then you just keep taking right after right after right. Is it truly the land of the free or is it the land of what you want it to be? People here said it would take working together to make an impact, just like a group of them challenged a preacher. Nearby, a man who said he used to be one of those preachers apologized for his former beliefs, offering hugs to anyone. In Lexington, Ricky Sayer, LEX 18 News. U.S. Senate candidate Charles Booker says he stopped by the Pride Festival before going to his kick off the Booker Summer Jam series. Booker says he's planning a series of summer jam events to campaign across the Commonwealth. He says the goal is to find out what Kentuckians want changed and bridge the division he says is growing in America. There's been so much division, so much dysfunction, there's a lot of pain. We need to remember that we're fighting together as family. So um, there's a lot of resolve. Um, there was so much love. And look, we're facing some tough times. The Supreme Court essentially said that humanity for so many people um, is not going to be recognized. It's not going to be honored. Agency is privacy. Your rights are being taken away. And we can hang our heads. But what I'm seeing are people that are saying, no, we're going to fight for Kentucky. We're going to fight for love. Booker says his campaign is working on what he's calling a Kentucky New Deal focused on what's making people mad. It's been more than a month since the Kentucky Derby, but people are still buzzing about rich strikes come from behind win. And now it's your turn to take your picture with the long shot winner, kind of. Rich Strike and jockey Sonny Leone's shining moment is front and center at the Kentucky Derby Museum. By now, you know the story. Three-year-old Colt Fold in Lexington gets called to race just the day before. The rest, which you can relive in an 18-minute film in a 360-degree theater, is history. And there are hundreds of stories each year, whether it's coming from the owner, the trainer, the jockey, the groom, the spectators of the sport. Everyone has a story. You can also take your picture in the replica winner circle, see jockey pants signed by Sunny Leone and the halter worn by Rich Strike. That's pretty cool. Bill, what do you say we all take a field trip? We can do that like, after we get off today. Well, we've already been there. We, we were true. there as We it were happened. there when it happened. That's true. That's like a made-for-TV movie waiting to <laughs> happen right then and there. So, yeah, it's, it was a terrific day then. Our weather, well, what we are looking at is finally some rain, but it may come at a price. We'll talk about that in a minute.